Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to be working with coffee dyed index cards. We're going to be making index card pocket ephemera. But first let's have our shout out to Flamingo Fan 1, Liberty Lost, Connie, Jenny, and Robin. I appreciate each and every one of you. So I have some coffee dyed Mine happen to be lined on one side and plain on the other. And these are six inches by four inches. And what we want to do is we want to take two of them. And I'm going to go ahead and cut one of them down an inch and a half. So I'm just going to line it up here. There's an inch. There's a half. Let's just mark it right here and bring in our little guillotine and give it a chop right there and then what I want to do is I want to find the middle of this and I'm just going to make a little mark here my pencil I'm going to bring in my one and a half inch circle punch and I'm simply going to take a little notch out of this right here all right so I've got that notched out now you know I like to ink so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my vintage photo and I'm simply going to ink around one side. All I have to do is ink around one side of this and I've decided this time I'm going to let the lines show on my two examples that I have. I'm actually not going to show the lines. I put them on the inside, but this time I'm going to put them on the outside. All right, so we've got that done. Then I want to take my cards here. I said on the outside, Kathy, which reminds me I need to go ahead and ink up just a little ways right here because we're going to make that into a pocket. So just a little bit. All right, so I am going to go ahead and get my corner rounder and I'm going to round my bottom right here, the bottom. I think I want the larger one, just like that. And then what I want to do is, I think right now I'm going to fold it down and I'm going to fold it down about an inch. So Folding it down an inch is going to give you enough room to be able to get in and out of the pocket. Inking up my folded area here, and then you can see what I'm talking about. This is going to give you that little extra room to be able to get in and out of your pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue because it has a very fine tip and you could definitely sew these but I have not sewed any of mine and I am going to not ink up where we notched but we're ink I mean glue we're not going to glue where my thumb is where the notch is I'm going to simply add the glue and go around right here going around all the way to the edge just like that. Putting my needle back in my glue top and I'm going to place these two together and we're going to make a pocket by doing so. So I've got that on and it's got glue coming out everywhere so I'm going to grab a little piece of paper towel that I've just cut in a little rectangle and get an awful lot of pieces out of my paper towel. I cut it up tiny like this and I'm just squeezing it kind of and going around just seeing that the glue comes you know extra glue comes out and get them stuck together really well. All right so remember the little piece that we cut off that went right here we're going to use that piece. So what we want to do is Oh, I forgot to ink the outside, didn't I? I sure did. Actually, yeah, the outside's going to maybe a little bit. <laughs> Let's put 
our ink again on this even though I think we're going to cover it up I'm still going to ink it up just a little and we're going to go ahead and attach it right here on the front of our pocket and we're going to make a little belly band so what I'd like to do is just add my glue directly onto my little piece on the ends right here okay and then I'm going to place it on my pocket here and I think I want to put it about maybe about right here okay now we've got it all made I should say and I'm going to bring in some pieces of ephemera You'll want to get either some digitals or maybe some magazine pages or paper pads and you'll want to select something that's going to not be bigger than your pocket like this one still has you can still see the edge but that's okay I'm going to use this to cover the front here that's going to be my front decoration and we're going to glue it right on to our flap. This digital happens to be from Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I'm going to just add my glue directly to my page. Now I have not, I happen to not coffee dye the back of this, but that's going to be okay. I've inked it up a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and glue it on. I can't seem to get that in. There we go glue it on right here. I'm going to eyeball it to kind of, you know, make it even as, as much as possible. It kind of looks like my pocket's not even. It's all good. Probably my piece of ephemera is not cut straight. All right, so there we go. We've got a flip. And in this flip, I've got some other little journaling pieces. Uh, and in the pocket, I've got this one right here. I think this one's from my porch prints. Um, some of them I'm not really sure where they're from. This one's chapter one papers. And this one's chapter one paper. I don't know, this one might be too tall. Oh, I know what I was going to do with this one. And let's put this one here. So we've got two right there. We've got that one. Now this one right here, I'm going to actually glue it right on to my belly band. I'm not going to worry about trimming it down. I'm going to use it just like it is. I'll just trim the ends and I won't need to trim the side. So it makes it into a very big belly band. That's okay. It kind of looks cool, right? And I'm going to grab my scissors, but I don't know what happened to my scissors, as you can hear me clanging around, looking for my scissors. Just trimming the ends off, just like this. Okay, I do have two examples, to two totally different colors, different than what we're doing now, too. I'm looking for my sponge, and I'm just going to ink up the edge, just like that. Alrighty, so now what I want to do is I want to put this one on the back and I'm simply going to glue the whole thing on the back. I'm not going to make it into a pocket. You could, but I've just chosen not to do that this time. So gluing it on, just like this. Okay, that will be perfect. Let's go ahead and let's bring in our dish. We have all kinds of things in our dish. I even have some sorry silk. I have some little 1 8 inch ribbon. I have some flower petals. I have some bling. And I need to bring in my hot glue gun. All right, so I've got my glue gun. And let's go ahead and bring in some sorry silk. Isn't this a beautiful color? It's from Crimson Heart Studios. And I'm simply going to place a line of hot glue down and put my sari on top and I'm simply going to pinch my sari silk. I'm going to proceed 
by doing a little bit more. And the reason why I only put a little at a time is because you definitely want to put your sorry silk or whatever it is onto your hot glue. If you're not adding your items onto your glue when it's hot, it could come off. And I've had some people say that hot glue doesn't stick. Well, it does stick. You just have to really put it on when it's really hot. And yes, I do use hot glue. I don't use um, the low tip. So let's go ahead and glue the end down a little better. Oh my goodness, that's pretty, isn't it? I have some little silk flowers here. I have a little bit of net. I have some bling. I have a ribbon flower. And I have a label, a couple of labels. I thought maybe a label might be nice on here. I'm not sure which one. I'm kind of leaning towards this dark one. I, I can't really tell you why except for I just think it looks really cool on there. So I think that's the one that I want to use. And I'm going to... Hmm, do I want to add a little bit of net underneath that? Maybe. Let's just see here. Oh yeah, I think that looks good. So I'm going to add my hot glue because the net will, it will really grab hold of the net and really keep it in place. Now do I want to add this, these petals onto this ribbon flower. I think that's really nice. I like that. I also think that I want to add some ribbon and I think I want this lighter color as opposed to this color. I do think I want the lighter. It's also a little bit thinner and I'm simply going to make a couple of loops. I think maybe just three loops and I'm going to add a little bit of glue right here see if I can't get that. Well, I didn't do a very good job. I glued it to my finger. Okay. I'm going to try that again. There we go. Let's lay it down on my glass mat. That should help. There we go. I got that glued together. And then, um, I don't think I want this. I think I want this white because this white flower goes really nice with that white sari silk. And I'm going to add a little bit of this polka dot net. So, cutting a little bit of this polka dot net. And I think, yeah, I want to put it on. First, I want to put the white petal on first. I'm going to grab my spoon. I think I need my spoon. And just hold it on there like that. Got glue on my shirt. Okay, and I'm going to put this little bit of um, net right here. Okay, and then I'm going to add my ribbon. So I think I want it to go up and down like that. So adding my ribbon, and then my pretty little ribbon flower. Lean that down while it just grabs hold. Oh my goodness, that's looking fantastic. Now, I've got a little bit of bling, and you know I think we're going to have to use a little bit of bling. Let's cut three little pieces here, and let's put it right on top of the label, just right there. Let's just lay it right on top. Oh, goodness gracious, I think that turned out fantastic. And then it just lifts up, and you've got a pocket, you've got a belly band, and then you have some decoration on the back. So I've made this one here that has the lavender theme, and I used the wax seal and one of those flower petals that we made together, and of course some bling and some ribbon. And you open it up, you've got your belly band and your two pieces of ephemera and another piece in the pocket. And then we have a piece on the back. And then I have a yellow one and it's all about that bee journal, right? And I've got a little bit of flat back pearls. I've got some yellow 
fabric with a bow and a little bit of net. We open it up and the theme still continues with the bee, bees going on here and then we've got the one in the back. You guys, I love this project. I hope that you have enjoyed it too. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.